In this week's episode, we dive into Puerto Rico's deep sea, a Turkish turtle gets a 3D printed jaw, the world's first warm blooded fish, and an update on the woodpecker riding weasel. Starting in Wyoming, where a 16 year old girl was gored by a bison in Yellowstone National Park, the exchange student made the life threatening mistake of turning her back on the large animal while trying to take a selfie. Staying in the States, scientists in Washington are working to save the greater sage grouse. The strange birds, famous for their strutting behavior, have declined by half in the past 10 years, mostly because of the growing wheat industry, which takes up precious habitat. From one beak to another, an endangered loggerhead turtle in Turkey has been given a second chance at life thanks to 3D printing. The turtle's beak, crucial for eating hard prey like sea snails, was damaged in a boat accident. The titanium implant seems to be working well and the team hopes to release her next year. In more ocean news, it turns out that the opa, or moonfish, is the world's first known warm-blooded fish. Some others, like sharks and tuna, are able to keep parts of their bodies warm, but the opa can keep its entire body in astounding 41 degrees warmer than the surrounding water using special nets of veins in their gills. And Mary Lee, the amazing great white shark tagged in 2013, has been spotted along the coast of New York. Since her tagging, the 3,500-pound female has been constantly on the go, and scientists hope she will help us better understand great white movements. She's even made her way to Bermuda. Off to Puerto Rico, where the NOAA research vessel Okeanos Explorer has taken a dive into the island's deep sea for the first time. The video unveiled several never-before-seen animals, like this stunning sunburst-like creature. New South Wales is once again blanketed in spiders as their annual spider rain hits. This is the result of ballooning, where baby spiders use long strands of silk to fly far from home. And finally, we're happy to report that the weasel who rode his way to internet fame atop a woodpecker earlier this year has been immortalized in a park sign. That's it for this week, but stay up to date between roundups by heading over to our website. See you next time.